guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated Q&A. Y'all asked me some juicy questions on my Snapchat and on my Instagram, and I'm going to do a little seafood bowl. I cooked all this food here. I got me some corn, Carolyn Stephen potatoes, I got shrimp, and I got a huge crab leg. Really, I need to take a thumbnail, honestly. Hopefully I got a good one. I'm gonna do one more good look. So, um, so yeah, I got some questions. I'm gonna do a little Q and A. Why I eat my food or whatever. Like I said, I did cook this food, so I'm a, I'm a big bit a bit excited, and I made my own little sauce, you know. So. Let's just get into the video. Oh! Okay, so yeah, so let's get into these questions. I actually, on Snapchat, did a little yellow thing. So, you know what I'm saying? Oh, cancel. And I got my, my lemons, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. All right, so on my yellow, the first question said, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself out of the military and two years after like because i get out in two years and a half years so my two-year anniversary on my shop mm. Mm -hmm. that's why i see myself in five years celebrating my two-year anniversary of my beauty bar in atlanta okay period um how much time do you have to stay in the army i have I get out October 2022. Oh. I got a little while. Would you ever would you ever secretly or openly date a PFC or a specialist? So, if you guys don't know, for those of people that are um not in the military, if you're E5 you can't date below you because that's fraternizing. So would I? Hell no. I'm not dating no private, no PFC, no freaking um, <clears throat> special thing gonna do for me. I ain't trying to lose my rank over no little kid. Yet. But no, so the answer to that would be no. And it basically was a trick question because why would I even, even if I wanted to date a specialist or something like that, why would I even put that on my YouTube channel? That's fraternization. You can't do that. Okay? Next question. Why didn't you choose the Air Force? The Air Force, they take too long. They take way too long. I thought about that first, going to the Air Force, but um, yeah, they just take too long. They, you gotta wait man long, you gotta score mad high. And then, when I first was joining, I didn't even wanna join anyway, so really I just wanted the fastest thing to get me through AIT and basic training and call it a day. Um, next question, what's your favorite thing about your job? Um, I think my favorite thing about the job is being able to mentor soldiers. Because um, to some people, you're their big sister, you're their mom, you're their cousin or whatever, you know. So being able to mentor soldiers is one of my favorite things. And it's only been five minutes, I know I'm fucking it up. If y'all like smacking, oh well, okay, period. Um... What do you really want to do career-wise? Career-wise, I want to be um, an established entrepreneur. Oh, 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 oh. I want to be an established entrepreneur. And I want to um, eventually have my own beauty line that you can shop from in like Sephora, Ulta, something like that. That's my my career, like long-term goal is to be a professional business owner. Mm. Let me say that. When was the last time you got some pain pain? First of all, that is TMI. That is none of your business. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Mm. Would you ever smoke or try edibles? I definitely would not. And my career progression smoking is illegal. So I definitely not put my career on the line to do something for something that lasts temporarily. It ain't worth it. So, the answer to that question is, no. 
Somebody said, are you allowed to have sex on base? Yeah. Yes, you're allowed to have sex on base, but not when you're in training. Um, pretty much not for real, for real in Korea because they got these rules. We gotta have the door open. If you get caught having sex, it's like a big thing. But now on deployment, but on a regular duty station, yeah, you can. But you still gotta sign. Sometimes you still gotta sign a visitor in. But you can't have visitors. You know what I'm saying? They not, it's not like they gonna be in in I mean, Korea. They do, but not like. In the regular barracks, do they like come and like check your room and your door has to be open? In, in real world, you just gotta like sign them in and that's it. So, mm -mm. Mm. I gotta do the happy dance real quick. That's how you know it's good. It's like, eh. <gasps> Clearly, I'm hungry because I'm fucking this shit. Oh! My tooth had to eat all the peanut. Eat you for who? Eat you for what? I know somebody was like, dang, I can watch the video because you were smacking. I don't care. Bye. See you in my next one. Um, Somebody said, where can I send you a care package? So. I will leave my P.O. box down in the description box if you guys want to send me anything. Um, you can. If you want to send me something to promote, you can send it to me. Um, yeah. My sizes are extra, extra small and everything. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't even need to gotta figure it out. If you, if you got a small and you got an extra small, I need the extra small. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did that, y'all. I'm going to start selling plates. Somebody already told me I need to. I have this new, like, found love for cooking that I didn't know I had. But you grow me. Okay. Mm. 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 So now my video looks lopsided. But, y'all, I had to switch. I had to switch cameras real quick, real quick because that new battery I got is so trash. Like, it keep dying. But it might look like this. This look a little better anyway. But, um. That's it. I'm gonna put that on the chart crazy. Hopefully it's not that noticeable, but it looks like I'm a little slanted. It's because my tripod is like bent, I think. I don't know. But yeah, so I forgot what I was saying, but anyway, let's go to the next question. Somebody said, when are you getting that E6? So I'm trying to get my promotable status here while I'm in Korea. And then I'll try to get ALC when I get to my next duty station. So within the next year and a half, I should be able to get my E6. Go. Somebody said, does size matter? Lord, y'all convert it. But, in my experience, <laughs> I've never dealt with a little shrimp, so I really don't know. <laughs> Would you ever talk to someone long distance as a friend? Um, as a friend? I mean, I'm, I'm on listening to my best friend right now, so if that's what you mean. If you're talking about like trying to talk to somebody, no, thank you. I'm good on that. Lord, somebody said, do you use toys during sex? Next question. What do you think about foot fetish? I think, um. Lip fetish like any other fetish. I have lip fetish. So like if you got ugly lips, I can't date you because like that's gross. Like it'd be like black and then pink on the inside or something like that. Like people's lips just look nasty. I ain't dating them. So if you got pee fetish and you can't date somebody with ugly feet, I feel you. Because ugly lips matter. You know what I'm saying? I can't kiss somebody with ugly, no ugly lips. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Not gonna happen. Mm -mm -mm. My dog gonna be all hot up by the end of this video.
All right. Next question. What is that? I bet you can't take dick or ride it. Use a little. You need a little dick. Lord Jesus. That's not a question. Y'all showing out. Do you have a boo in Korea? Next question. <laughs> Do you ever think about being stationed in Germany instead of Korea? No, because stationed in Germany, I think it's like either a two or a three year duty station. Maybe three year duty station. And, or four years. I'm not trying to be there that long. I want to do it for my, mm, my nieces and my nephews that long. So I only picked Korea because it was a year and it's pretty fun here. So, and it's wow, super easy to travel. What do you have in your hidden album in your phone or on Snap? I don't have a hidden album. I have nothing to hide and I don't have nothing on my Snap. Oh, I know what y'all thinking. Y'all little nasties. I know what y'all got in y'all little hidden snaps. I mean, y'all little private Snapchat. Mm -mm. I don't get down like that, y'all. I'll be damned my phone get hacked or somebody take my phone. Mm -mm. When are you visiting home? I'm visiting home in May. In May. Um, I'm staying career here the whole year. I'm not going to go home. Because this is like, that plane ticket is like $1,000. And I'm just like, for what? The same shit going on at home. They'll be doing the same shit they doing when I get back. So, you know what I'll see them when I see them. Where do you want to get stationed after Korea? I already know where I'm supposed to be getting stationed. So, I can't even like lie and say I want to go here. So, when I pop to my EIB. I'll let y'all know if I'm officially going there, but I already know where I'm going. Like, I got advanced placement orders before I got to Korea. Tell me where I'm going to go, so. <laughs> Somebody said, are there shower curtains in basic training? No. In my basic training, there was no shower um, curtains. It was just open showers. And everybody was just in there, taking showers. You'll get used to a real fast trust. Your favorite go-to makeup look. My favorite makeup look is that video. Y'all gonna see before this. That's my go-to. I always put some brown eyeshadow on. Highlight contour foundation. Some some lashes. That's like my go-to look. But like if I'm doing a makeup look. Usually it's something the pink. Pink, brown. Or. Yeah, pink is like my go-to eyeshadow. Because I don't know. Pink looks cute. How are you liking Korea again? Korea overall. It's, it's, it's straight. However, did I enjoy my first time here better than this time? Definitely. And I've only been here four months, but I can tell you that my first time was definitely way more fun. Um, and I had way more friends than this time. So, I don't think there's no meat in this thing. I think I pulled it out. Uh. Oh, excuse me. I hope you these to perfection okay you see how I was pulling out just like that uh, perfection here ya yeah. alright alright next <laughs> um I think that's all of them alright so I'm gonna go oh wait somebody said are you a lesbian no I'm not a lesbian <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. Um, what country do you live in right now? I live in South Korea. I tell y'all my camera, both of my cameras died, and I came back to make this video, and I eat my food. That's love, right? There. That's dedication to the to the to the to the damn video because my food now is cold. I heated up my sauce again. My food is cold, so now I gotta, you know what I'm saying, eat cold crab legs. But you know, cold crab legs still a thing, so still gonna get eight. Period. Okay, so where was I anyway? I don't even know. All right. Are you allowed to go to? Are you allowed to leave base to go to college parties? Yes. Um, you are allowed to leave base. I don't know why people think the army is like you're restricted to like your room or something. 
it's the same thing as having a regular job it's just like you just do more work than a regular job that's it okay so you're allowed to go oh, you don't meet in this one either oh my god i thought I'd, I'd get the big one it'll have all the meat in it but you're allowed to go off post and do regular shit on the weekends and even when you get off work if you want to go party on a weekday you can do that as long as you at work at 6 30 for pt are you good to go you're not restricted to your room you're not restricted to post now korea is different we still go off post but like you're more like confined for the most part but now that there's no curfew here not so much but it used to be like you had to be back in your room about two o'clock it was like childish as hell but they might keep curfew away they might bring it back right now curfew is off until december so so far so good but yeah somebody said what base are you on right now i'm on camp casey um somebody said somebody said was the last time you've been sexually active seem like you've been single forever damn like, first of all don't worry about what you're doing thank you well that's still um how's sex life in the army <sighs> It's like it's like a community college, okay? Don't be out here having sex with these folks. I'm trying to tell you that shit gonna come around, okay? The army is small. Everybody fucking the same people or having sex with the same people. People like in Korea, the chlamydia rate here is the highest ever. So you know what I'm saying? Just, just don't do it <laughs> because everybody messing with the same people. The army is small, okay? But the ratio from male to female definitely is way more males than there is females. So just let that sink in. Think about what you want to think about. But there's way more males than there is females. Mm. Your last vlog. <laughs> what face bitch, right here. Your last vlog. They said your last vlog long as hell when you're going to have a kid. Okay, you should say I'm old or something. Like I'm only 25. I'm gonna have the kid whenever God decides he wanna put a kid in my stomach and then boom, that's when I'm gonna have one. Have you ever dated a female? Yes, I have. Um, what made you become a YouTuber? So, I used to work at Michael Kors. My OG subscribers know that. I used to work at Michael Kors and I used to do makeup videos. Um, uh, I used to um do my makeup all the time. And then everybody used to be like, you know what? You should make a video on YouTube so you can show us how to do makeup because your makeup will always be so cute. Mind you, I have always wanted to make YouTube videos or make a YouTube, but I said, oh, I'll do it when I go to college. I never went to college. Well, I did, but I didn't go to like a university. So I was like, if I keep procrastinating on like when the perfect time is for me to make a vlog and make a new channel, I never do it. Now I'll never do it. So my manager, um, he was like, tonight, I want you to make your homework for tonight. So make your YouTube channel and start that. So really, I got to say thanks to him. His name was Tristan. He's right back, of course. <clears throat> the one in Dawsonville. And he was like, I just want to tonight once you make a video. I made the video, and ever since then, I've been going, and nobody took me seriously. Like, I was doing YouTube before YouTube was like a trend trend. You know what I'm saying? Like, people was on YouTube. People been on YouTube for, for years. Like, I can't have been on YouTube for 10 years. But before YouTube, before YouTube was like, let's do it so we can get money real fast. Let's do it. Expect being in a relationship so we can get money. Before it was like about that, I was doing YouTube, but nobody took me seriously. And I'd be like, oh, I do YouTube. They'd be like, okay, girl. So I've been doing it since 2016, like January 2016. But yeah. Alright. So that's it for my YOLO. Let's go to Instagram and see what y'all talking about. Would you ever do a meet and greet in Buffalo? I'm guessing that's Buffalo, New York, and probably not. Honestly, the one being great I did in Virginia, we didn't get to like low key nerve wracking because you can do all that shit and have like three people show up. Luckily, my being great was like going away to have my friends there too. But like, I don't got time for me to rent a whole venue and do all that shit, but nobody to show up. So until I'm popping, popping, I ain't doing no meeting greet. Mm mm. Happiest moment of this year. 
definitely have to be my trip to Bali. That definitely was the highlight of this year so far. Um, like, love Bali. Bali was like one of my best vacations. I think it was Bali, Cancun, and then Thailand. Um, Jamaica, Panama. Yeah. And, well, Bali, Cancun, Thailand, Hawaii, Jamaica, Panama. Best places I've been. How do you keep yourself motivated and not depressed? I don't keep myself motivated. Sometimes I'm not motivated and sometimes I get a little depressed. So, it's just about being able to get yourself out of it. I don't always stay motivated. I'm not always the happiest person. I'm not always in a good headspace. But, I try my hardest not to dwell in negativity. And like, everything happens for a reason. And God wouldn't put you through nothing that he don't think you can handle. So, you saying, I'm not saying you can't be sad. I'm saying you can't be depressed. You know what I'm saying? Go through the emotions, but don't get stuck and stay there. Make sure you call yourself out of whatever you're going through. How was your birthday? I feel like it was so fun. My birthday was amazing. 25 was my best birthday. My 24th birthday was horrible. It was really, oops, it was really, really, really bad. So, 25th, I had to go all out. And baby girl, I went all out and had to tell my life, like, Oh my god, I just said that Bali was like the best. I recommend it 10 out of 10. I was say, have you ever had sex on the job? No. Hell no, I don't got time to be doing no crazy shit. Not with my job. Hell no. Gonna get me kicked out over doing some dumb shit. How do you balance army life and being away from your family? Honestly, I'm not a really family oriented person. Well, I wasn't. But now that like my nephew and nieces are born, I'm not gonna lie, I do get sad seeing them grow up and I'd be wanting them to know who I am. So it's a little hard, but like I said, I really wasn't a family oriented person, so it really didn't hurt my feelings too too much or it didn't hurt too much. But I mean just call them and just stay connected. You know, FaceTime, you know what I'm saying? But to be like how I get through it, I really don't have an answer for that because I don't really struggle with the fact of being away. It doesn't really bother me too much. Somebody said, give me your travel agency. I don't have a travel agency. I honestly book all my trips by myself. I did research, I go online, I search um, for like the best, like, okay, so when I go on a trip, not to the city, y'all yeah, know me, I like to go out, I'm a, um, I'm a lit person, so when I go on the trips, I look up where I'm going, which beach is the best beach or which place is the best be place for nightlife, so I kind of set my stuff up around the nightlife, I'm not to the point where I, I want to go on vacation and I want to sit on the beach or no. I want to go make sure I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to meet the locals. I'm trying to do some wild stuff, okay? So usually that's what I do. I just do research. on. I look up um, YouTube. I go to Google. I go to um, TripAdvisor. Like, I look up a whole bunch of reviews trying to figure out where the best places to stay. And basically, that's how I figure out where I want to do. Um, I use Google Flights for my flights because Google Flights can tell you where or when the cheapest dates are. So say you want to go on a trip from the 1st to the 8th, but flights, and they're like $600 flight. But on the third, if you look the third, you come back the tenth, the flight's only four hundred dollars. So it can tell you which days are cheaper. So that's kinda how I go about picking which days I actually go on my trip. I definitely don't stay in hotels. I stay in Airbnbs because they're cheaper. And usually not on the ten. Let's not my birthday trip, my first birthday trip I planned, I wanted a big room because I I plan to have a lot of people. But usually my room is mediocre. Okay. And this is why I pick a mediocre, mediocre room because not that you're not gonna be in the room. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be um out doing the tours, you're gonna be out sightseeing, like you know what I'm saying? So the room don't have to be this really expensive, elaborate room unless you plan on like 
being in your room. But like when I went to Bali, my first room wasn't the it wasn't the best. It wasn't shitty, but I stayed there for nine nights for $181. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. I'm going for the cheapest of cheap. I'm not going for the expensive like room for what? I'm not even gonna be the one be the beach every day. I'm gonna be out doing the tour every day. So there's no point in even getting this fancy room. You know, so keep that in mind when you go on a vacation. Unless you're gonna stay at the resort and be staying at the beach, then okay, yeah, you want a, a hotel that's gonna be nice. But me, I want a nice hotel, you know what I'm saying? Three, four stars, I don't got no five star hotel, it can be three stars, four stars. As long as it don't got no bugs in it and it's like it's decent, then I'm staying there. I'm not finna worry about you no know, nice ass hotel room when I'm not even gonna be there but to sleep. So that's usually why I be able to travel for so long because I don't be going there trying to expend the most money on my dollar on room. Um, somebody said, what are the army tattoo policies? You can't have any tattoos on your hands and your neck, the back of your neck, any visible place basically. So if you're already in, you can still get tattoos. You just can't get them like, um, I couldn't bring this down to my hand. I couldn't get some lips on my neck or something. If you're already in, whatever tattoos you have in, they know. So just don't be like, oh, I've been had this. They're going to know that you didn't even have that. So just no visible places. Just like any other professional job, you can't really show your tattoos. The same thing. Oh, my face itch right here for whatever reason. What's going on? Are you interested in doing a closet tour? Mm. I can start doing hauls because a lot of people ask me where I get my clothes from because I'm really tiny and a lot of my clothes fit really good. But yes, yeah, so I can start doing some hauls because I actually get a lot of questions about that. My closet, the way that bitch, the way that set up right now, <sighs> no, nah, I can't do no closet haul. But I, I'll do a haul when I get some new clothes because about that time I start doing fall shopping and um, winter shopping about about now. So. Mm. About that time. Alright, so that's pretty much all my questions. So I just I can finish watching me eat the last bit of food I got left. Really, nigga? Boy, if you don't get...
right, y'all. All I got left pretty much is a corn and some potatoes, a little bit of potatoes. So, you know, I'm about to, I'm about full anyway. I had that little break anyway. My food was like, eat me. I didn't even eat nothing. I'm proud of myself. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys... If you guys want me to do more mukbangs, um, comment down below. Is there what you want me to eat? I'm in Korea, so I can try a whole lot of stuff. Um, some challenges, stuff like that. I had fun recording this video. I had fun cooking food, okay? My crab legs came out bomb, okay? Or my crab leg is only like one cluster, but it came out bomb. Like Y'all saw my meat coming out, okay? Your girl did that. She overcooked her food and slid it right out, okay? If y'all want me to start doing cooking videos, a lot of y'all be writing on my own Instagram. Not Instagram, my own. My Snapchat is saying like I should do cooking videos because I, I told y'all I got this newfound love for cooking I never knew I had so I like to cook now so if you want me to start doing cooking videos I can however don't be coming for the stove that I cook on because this is a community kitchen so it ain't the it ain't the prettiest kitchen okay but I definitely can start doing those if you guys want me to start expanding my channel I got corn all on my teeth um I need some video ideas being that I've been off the bandwagon for like four months I'm like, don't know what to do. So comment down below some video ideas, some food y'all like to see me cook. I don't know, more move on topics, topics to talk about. We can do some discussion videos, some advice videos. We can do a little advice call if y'all want to send me a nice messages or messages on Instagram, whatever. And y'all, I can talk about it in a video, something like that. Um, you know, just some new ideas. I'm trying to get to 70k. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost there. 70k. I need 80k. I'm trying to get to 100k. You know what I'm saying? So I need some more exciting topics. The stuff you guys want you guys want me to um to do because y'all watch youtube probably more than i watch youtube i'm more trying to create the videos and i work so goddamn long here so if y'all see some trending things that are going on you comment down below you should do this video you know what i'm saying just give me some ideas um i'm open to doing collabs with people so if you're interested in doing some collabs um you can write, message me um yeah so i'm trying to get I'm trying to get I'm trying to get back in the game, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to this 100k, road to 100k, y'all. Almost at 70k. Shout out to all the people that's been with me from the beginning when I was only doing making videos. If I hit this table one more time, I don't know. I'm really feeling passionate right now. But yeah, like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to this video. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below something that I said in the video that was funny. Comment yellow, a purple heart, something. So I know you guys are watching the videos, you guys are entertained, and you made it to the end. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.